Oke okay guys, lanjut ke game kedua ya antara Nip Flash melawan dari Firefloak Esports. Oke, okay. match point buat tim Nip Flash guys ya. Ya, game pertama dibantai habis-habisan guys. Jadi kalian tonton dulu ya game pertama ya. Set ini Fanik Bani Gotland guys. Set dah. Bani Gotland bos lawan Samsen yang pakai Harit ya. Harit M Wang. Set dah. Max HP damage, a constant 4% max HP damage. Gue pikir tadi baninya yang jadi jungler, guys. Mahar Rogernya ya. Alien, alien, lu terlalu depan alien. Aduh, belum ada menit satu lo bang. Belum ada menit satu bang. Absolute disaster. That should not happen with a Yuzong. Usually Yuzong is the one that forces you away, but this Yuzong got first blooded, right? He had petrified. Oh, there's no way of running, uh, running away. Yeah, I mean Diablo just absolutely oh, cycled him. This mind game's too strong. Wow. And, and okay, so we we know that there's a winning lane in the top lane for now, right? In the end, even if Yuzong goes down, he can still come back into the game pretty early, uh, pretty fast, and he will be able to catch up in terms of gold and EXP in just matters of time because Yuzong just doing Yuzong things, right? But NIP Flash. We are looking for the information, and you see, take a look at the mini map. Cho is constantly just mirroring where the opponent's roamer is going. He's constantly just giving information to the rest yeah. of the team, so that whenever NIP Flash goes for the gank, they know if whether the Grok is gonna be there or not. Yeah, and JPI is doing a very good job, just you know, uh, as we call it, manning Apex Seven, like making sure that wherever this Grok goes, JPI also got to be careful, right? Hati-hati dah, sumpah. The man-to-man defense from NIP Flash, and also tracking where Tianzi is gonna be. Ideally, you wanna force him to use the retribution to secure a turtle for your team. See JPL. He's gonna hit his ultimate soon. Untung aja JPL belum level empat loh. Not sure if whether he will be able to do much in the bottom lane, but for now, top lane though, the TZ did manage to use the feather air strike. Did manage to do a chunk of damage away from alien. But no, a quick little terrify. Hey, terrify! Wah, dibalikin bos. Kel of my Rosa guys. Bring Hades down into the ground, facing flat with a one is to one score line right now. The turtle is currently available for fire for fire flux to take. Incredible save by Rosa and the stolen feather ash right combined with the wild charge from Apex for the seven as he hit four on the Rosa A to take out him. So turtle still open up, but gagal guys, gagal. Gets him out in a flash. That could have been deadly. Now I'm just really looking out for the battery between Cho and someone else. I'm not too sure if whether NIP Flash have that potential to really burst that one person down in the end. I'm dead guys. Even if JPL has managed to the NZ yang dapat guys ya. This one player. So that is probably my only concern for NIP Flash. No battery, no no bueno. Rosa. This is way better side of Fire Flux, right? Stone Fighter Air Strike used just to clear the wave. So NIP Flash, they definitely are not not gonna have the snowball that they, you know, kind of experienced in game one. And Apex Forty Seven forcing Vanish to go for an even bigger rotation, which means the plating on this bottom side is gonna go over to Sunshine. We. Vanix is already put behind in terms of experience as well, so I mean you can see that this Bane into Harry matchup not really the the best. Vanix holding his ground pretty well. And yeah, I mean, games so far. yeah. But when it comes to the theory, I thought that with the sustainability from skill two, he should be able to do the TNG for an extended period of time while still being able to pass close. Possible while still clearing out the waves a tad little bit, but doesn't seem like he's able to get close to the uh to the waves enough to really do anything. Um, sus uh, anything good to the Harry? Hades shows up, right? If I Apex Forty Seven, that's a wild charge. Oh, and a flicker. Wait, that's not a flicker from Diablo, though. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, a flicker from Apex. Okay, my bad. Flicker from Apex. So at least they did manage to take that flicker away from Fire Flux. So they are pretty much uh in a pretty good stance for the next total fight, which is coming up in about thirty five seconds. While NIP Flash is posing themselves down at the bottom lane, supporting JPL, he I believe that he already used his way out of Dragon, but immediately after that, Sunshine popped off with a Purify to ensure that he's not going to be caught out that easily. I know Watch Out for Apex Forty Seven. Unfortunately, did get the Purify out of Sunshine with the way the Dragon. That's 
And what NFP Flash wants to look for, right? Some crucial resources. Oh, ini buffnya mau diambil kah? Buffnya mau diambil kah, guys? Hades, buset. Lah, langsung mati, guys. Gila, TNZ-nya ya. Duh, panik. Paniknya tuh, bang, guys. Buset. Even Van is getting finished off down bot. As Rosa and Sunshine work together to take him out. Ngeri ya guys ya. Warning considered, Diablo did get the top tier one. So NMP Flash, they might have given up a couple of kills and eventually the second turtle. But they're not too far behind, I suppose. Fireflux, you can see that, you know, when you have multiple win conditions, when you have heals that don't necessarily have to be together, they are self-sufficient. This is what you can achieve. It's a more comfortable... Early game. An easier game to play, I would say, if you have side laners that just naturally win in the lane. And you just have to execute your game plan as per your trading. So Fireflux Rosa, Rosa. Do have the luxury of doing that. <laughs> in the meantime, JPL yeah. tries to go for an engage onto Rosa, but unfortunately wasn't able to do quite much as Cartesi being the anchor of the team popping up with the fact that Airstrike essentially saves the rest of his team, Shit. allowing them to run back to the first tier defense. Akhirnya dari team Flash ada ini ya guys ya. Ada perlawanan ya dari tim Firefox ya. Isi Firefox esports are definitely slowly but surely getting the lead. They're turning their attention to the top side, so that tier one is 100% going to fall. And if you flash, they need a lot more time for Vanix and Hades to skill up. And Firefox is trying to kind of shrink at that time frame. Don't want to let an MP flash have a way better game for Firefox esports. They definitely have a better grasp of the game now especially since tnz is able to farm pretty effectively in the meantime rosa <laughs> down the bottom lane finds himself taken down and the rest of nip flash seems like they really want to uh wants the blood of apex 47 but i don't think that is going to be all that simple though as alien is just going to be hiding around the brushes but i don't think that they will be able to catch anyone except for the fact that sure. diablo with the quick little i'm offended onto apex 47 but not enough damage to really do anything uh anything good not yet, at least. I mean, then I be flash. They, gained, they got the kill onto Rosa, so that's good. I believe the kill did went over to Curtizi. Even see Alien in the mid as well. JPL was fishing for a kick side against it. And I be flash. I think they don't really need to rush. Immediately go. with the uh, I'm offended. Oh. Did manage to collect down onto Alien and the battery of having the uh, feathered airstrike being used to make sure that they bring Alien down. I guess that is one of the batteries that we can look out for, but it's. Is after all gonna be uh, an ultimate hey. that's being used. Yeah, and now we're back and connecting on TNZ. Hades takes Gale, down the see. Ling and they have also managed to steal away the purple buff. And Rosa, they, Rosa, Rosa. they want to go for Rosa. But Rosa, he did manage to steal the I'm offended onto Diablo. Oh, and Diablo he did manage to that, allowing Harif to drop down the Zaman Force. Brings him down. But then I be flashed. They're not going down without a fight. As Vanix and Katizi joins into the fray. And immediately Gale, see, guess, yeah. down. That puts Fireflux with three men down, and NIP Flash have got the Lord. So much damage from Vanix. Flickers, Deadliest Cash, and a Crap Wall Cannon. And even a passive splash in the face <laughs> of Sunshine, who evaporated yeah, just like sir. that. NIP Flash getting the first Lord. Lee now falling towards them, and this is a... It's a magic bane. Oh, you get a holy bane. crystal lightning truncheon. No wonder sunshine evaporated just oh, like that. That 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 explains. Diablo, that Diablo. Bane onto their side. Boy, oh boy. Definitely <laughs> a lot more annoying to deal with. So now, if now, now Fireflux, they really have to do quite a lot of itemization to really work with that. Now, looking at the yeah, Look looking at, at that. Boy, oh boy, the deadly catch. Indeed, real deadly. It just rips through sunshine. I don't think Fireflux can hold on to the tier 1 anymore. DBL, 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 on top, JPL is going to continue to look for some angle. In fact, he postures himself in that pixel bush. Just so if Fireflux shows up to defend, they can get even more picks. And IP Flash setting themselves up for success. But it may be a little bit too early for us to say that. As I'm pretty sure Wish. that Fireflux is posturing themselves for something. But <laughs> Langsung mati guys, ditan panik guys. Aduh, ya hades mati sih. Panik. Aduh, GPL, GPL, GPL tipis. GPL. Wah, gila sih guys. Malah dia yang mati ya guys ya. Aduh, aduh.
GG guys ya dua tuker empat guys eh, salah satu tuker tiga ya dua dan empat masih hidup gitu guys maksudnya malam guys semakin malam semakin oleng ya guys ya untung aja dia udah beli has cloud juga guys ya oh my rosa terlalu op guys ya dapat lo tenzinya guys But unfortunately, his teammates do not have enough damage, and they even ate a petrify in the face as well. So, I mean, NIP Flash got to slow down a little bit, right? Vanix has a lot of damage, but he still, at the end of the day, needs to get up close and personal. Firefox Esports taking control of the map, but NIP Flash at least yep. do have the mid tier one. And because of the mid tier one, I think that is a lot more difficult for Firefox to really take control of the river at this at this point in time. Can mm, Rosa? Ya yeah, langsung guys But now the Black Dragon form emerges and Apex 47 emerges Rosanya wipe out guys jelo Minion mid tapi Apex bentar lagi balik sama alien guys ya Oke You lose it, you lose an inhibitor, and I don't think they can even get the top tier tool because Diablo is gonna clean it up in a in a flash as well. NIP flash, almost 3k a hit. Definitely not the big lead just in like game one. In fact, top tier two eventually did go down. Diablo didn't have enough damage to clear it out. Oh my god! Oh, he is he is online, this man. What items? My goodness, we don't see Mage Bane all that much, so. Honestly, having to see him on the stage right now and um, and the massive amount of damage that he's able to deal to the rest of the members from Fireflux, that's definitely very scary to see. Incredibly scary, in fact. I think NIP Flash <laughs> got a bit of control of the game already. And the fact that mid in the hit is down is a big deal for Fireflux Esports. Because now, the side lanes are going to be a lot more threat than top tier 2 goes down. The conceal from Fireflux not bearing any fruits. Rosa sure. just got the blood wings, but NIP flag no, is setting I'm up an ambush. Now about the, one of the new item change, season time. Would that actually make any sense for that? Oi, tarik bos. Rosa? Wah, langsung mati, guys. Gelo. Ada skocaknya tuh, Bang. Oh, um, kena sembur gak tuh, Bang? But... It is not all sunshine and rainbows for NIP Flash, and it is a two for two trade after all. Yeah, like I guess, yeah. Say, the magic burst damage from JPL Flash, well. catching down on Apex 47, but I don't think that they Apex. have enough damage for all of that at all. He immediately Jikundo, or rather, Shumpo is out of the way. Yeah, it's Bang, Alien, Adu. But the main fight was actually onto Vanix because he focuses down on the Apex, 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 Waduh, gelo, lelelel, aduh, gelo, guys. 
Aduh guys, guys ngeri kali guys ya, aduh Terlalu ngeri guys, terlalu ngeri Chefskis. Yeah. Even Apex 47 just got the immortality. So second life, the second lore granted to Fire Flux Esports. Once NIP flash, they gotta kind of look out a little bit, right? Like you have better air strike, you have a lot of damage, sure. But all your damage dealers are pretty fragile. Like if TNZ gets his hands on you, if Sunshine gets on top of you, if you get crowd controlled by Alien and Apex, a lot of things to consider for NIP flash. You can't just go for the cookie cutter playoff. I pull someone in with the I'm offended and hope to burst them down without any repercussions. It just does not work like that. In the meantime, as the Lord postures itself up in the top lane, the rest of the members from Fireflux focuses onto the middle lane because that's the only tier one that's available. In the meantime, we do have the wild charge coming from Apex 47, but the crowd did manage to make sure that Vanek's gonna be a-okay for now. Diablo walks away with not a lot of health to work with, but never mind because NIP Flash, they did manage to take quite a lot of ultimates away from Fireflux. In fact, four ultimates. While NIP Flash, they still have quite a, quite a bit to work with. Most importantly, the way of the dragon. Yeah, the, the fact that Vanek saw Predicted incoming gang and instantly winter crown oh. before the wild charge was even remotely close to him. Him staying alive is very crucial because he's one of the main damage dealers that's gonna help funny, 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 funny. Look at that. Oh, 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 <laughs> what a call from NIP Flash yeah. Cartesi committing his flicker just to cover more ground with the feather airstrike telling his team that guys we can go we can beat them takes out Sunshine and Alien in the process as they did not have the battle spells or didn't have the resources left so NIP Flash <laughs> clapping back both teams losing an inhibitor I don't think NIP Flash can end the game but they can definitely uh, do some serious damage at least try indeed. Tempest nah. of Blaze is gonna be used. We Buda. do have a deadly catch then. Unfortunately, Langsung no one is bang. anyone. Then bang, 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 Kalem, bang. Kasih nafas, astagfirullah. Aduh, dia mau winter run, eh, winter crown. Waduh, mati, guys. Ayo, lo ada naga, lo. Ayo, lo. Hey. Langsung mati, guys, gelo. It's time for Firefox to clap back. Critical mistake from NIP Flash. I'm not really sure what the <laughs> calls were, guess. but that definitely was not an end game angle. Not with Rosa around the terrified crowd control. Oh, so important to stop NIP Flash from dealing more damage. They try to kind of blitzkrieg the crystal, but end up giving up their life, Lord. and even worse, might end up giving up this Lord it's as well. It's unfortunate for sure. The greediness from NIP Flash thinking that they can really end the core like that. Ah. Uh. Didn't really quite. Ex I, I'm pretty sure that they expected Apex 47 with that wild charge, but probably not exactly that well. Siapa yang bakalan dapetin lotnya ya? Udah pasti TNZ sih. Jangan sampai comeback kedua kalinya ya bang ya. Hati-hati ya. Tapi tak kenapa feeling gua masih tetap sama guys untuk tim Nip Flash ya. Kenapa ya? Ini kelihatannya bakalan 2-0 guys, kelihatannya. NIP Flash, they know that they had to give it away and just play from behind. This is the opportunity for GPL, GPL. Back open the entire base of NIP Flash or even look for end game angle. JPL needs to catch up his life. We're just waiting for that perfect opportunity. But even if JPL did manage to go for the catch, the question is always if whether Vanix will be able to burst that one person down or if Katizi will especially use his feather airstrike just for that one man catch but 
looks like the answer is to use the feather airstrike to wave clear in the middle lane as they prepare themselves for the lord to push up in the top lane and the mega creeps down at the bottom this is definitely a lot tougher for them to even recover from Staggered wave as well. Hey. So oh, flash. Oh, Diablo. Yeah. Well, that oh, Diablo. Diablo they did manage to connect down on the two person, but they didn't really want to go all that, in for guess. that. NIP Flash playing things a little bit slowly to ensure that they bring down the Lord uh, nice and uh, just pretty much just going out for that. In the meantime, Kurtzi is just going to be popping yes. up with the Feather Air Strike while Alien pops off with the Black Dragon. No, no, no. Boops away. Tienzi is not the biggest. But unfortunately, out of all of that, Fire Flux did lose Tienzi and NIP Flash is just going to be running it down. Aduh, epic comeback istri lagi bos. Aduh, Walter A. So NIP Flash, they are just gonna be running in middle lane without Alien and TNZ. This might be the chance that they are looking out for. That could be the second win. Can Rosa do it again? Just throw the Imo Fenya. Wala 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 wala. Fox and bisa guys. Fox and bisa itu. Fox and Fox and bisa guys. Fox and bisa guys. Gelo. Epic comeback, yes, gelo, berkali-kali ya guys ya. Oh victory, away from Fire Flux Esports, the dream team of Turkey. Unprecedented performance from NIP. Gelo, bro, gelo. Game two was scrappy. 